Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Becca. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you saw by the title of today's video, I am going to be prepping for another semester of nursing school. If you don't know, I am in an accelerated RN BSN program and it's a total of four semesters. I'm entering my third semester next week. I'm very, very excited to be in this program as well as entering my third semester. It is such an amazing feeling. You guys really seem to enjoy this video the last time I filmed it so I thought that I would do another one and just kind of show you what I do to prepare for a semester of school. There's just a couple different things that I like to do and I think I've been on break for like three weeks now. This is my fourth week so I guess it's safe to say that it's time to start looking at Canvas messages and just kind of getting organized for another semester of school. It is currently January 2nd and I start my third semester next week. Like I said, there's just a few things that I need to prepare and organize for next week. Just a few quick disclaimers. As your way of helping me and supporting me, there are a few affiliate links in the description box as well as my goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by March. My birthday's in March, so that is my goal right now. Hopefully we can hit it. Anyways, that would help me out so, so much. Don't forget to like this video if you're excited without further ado let's get right into the video because I probably should have started this stuff yesterday but I just wanted to take a break from school related things today we are starting it off first thing that I need to do is organize my canvas glasses so I'm gonna share the screen so you can kind of see what I'm doing as well. I'm in a total of four classes. Wait, let me make sure that's right. I am in a total of four classes this semester. One of them is professional roles, which is basically how we learn to be a professional in the nursing field. Another class is called population-based care because those are the clinicals that we are doing this semester. So it's community-based clinicals and then mental health-based clinicals. So the other class that I'm in is mental and behavioral health and then the fourth class that I'm in is called clinical management and I've been in this the past two semesters there's a total of three semesters of this in the program and this class is basically teaching us how to manage our patients in a clinical setting it involves everything from anatomy physiology pharmacology all of that pathophysiology it's everything it's probably my most challenging class I'm excited to have it be my last of this class ever but the first thing that I like to do is organize my canvas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen because then you can see what I'm doing. The first thing that I like to do is color coordinate my classes. So I'll go into canvas and I will, I've already done it for three of the classes because they already popped up and then this pink one is just for my cohort but these other three are ones that I have already chosen. So I just like color coordination so we've got a blue one We've got a green one. Clinical management in my brain is always purple, so that's why that's purple. And then we'll change the mental health, mental and behavioral health course because that one just came out. And we're gonna go with, I don't know if I have a pink one. Oh, my summer cohort one is pink. Let's do red. So now I have those color coordinated and you can also nickname your courses if you want to change the names of what they're called because sometimes when it just says the like 4500 or the numbers at the top I don't really associate that with the class and I associate it by just like the name of the class if that makes sense not by the numbers after I do this I go into my iPad and then those colors that I chose for my canvas I'm going to transfer over to my notability so I'll show you what I'm talking about now we are going to go to my notability right here and then we're going to add in a new semester because I have my notes organized under semesters. So we're going to add in a new divider and we're going to call it spring 2023. So now under spring we're going to add in a subject and so we're gonna name it and then drag it. So this one we're gonna call clinical management three and we're gonna drag it under the spring. We're gonna add in another subject. We're gonna call it, we're gonna call it professional roles three. And I'm actually gonna change the colors, but first I'm just gonna get these dividers or these subjects and then the other class is called population 
based care. We're going to drag that one under. And then the last one is called mental and behavioral health. Mental and... Oh, that's going to bug me. And behavioral health. Okay. After I drag this one under spring, I'm going to... Like I had color coordination on my canvas, I'm going to color coordinate the subjects on my notability. We're going to make clinical management purple because that's just the color it is in my brain. So now everything in my notability color wise matches everything on my canvas color wise. And I'm just a very color coordinated person in that way. And so that is just the most helpful thing ever for me. The next thing that I'm going to do is go into Canvas and I'm gonna download the syllabi to each class so that I have even more organization. So now I have everything. And at this point, I'm going to read through the syllabi for each class that I'm going to have. And I'm going to take notes or highlight things that would be important or something that I need to buy. So that if I'm ever rereading the syllabus, things that I thought were important now will stick out to me later. Also, that's something nice about Notability because you can make notes on it, highlight it, write on it, color on it. So that's why throwing the syllabi into Notability is super helpful for me. And also I know that there's like at least one book that I need to buy. So I do need to go find that here and then find it on Amazon. This is what I'm gonna do now. I just finished reading through skimming the syllabi and there is just one textbook that I need to buy which is honestly a blessing because I don't really feel like buying a ton of textbooks anymore at this point. I'm going to now get on my laptop and buy the one textbook. Well, I'm going to rent it because I think that I can just rent it. I'm going to get on and rent the one textbook for my mental health class. This is another reason that I like to take a look at the syllabi and the courses before the start of the semester because I can have everything ready by day one and I feel like that just sets you up for success. That is what I'm gonna do right now. Let me make sure that I have the right one. So I need to make sure that I get this right. <gasps> I think that it went up in price. I was looking at this recently and I didn't think that it was this much money. Let this be a lesson to all of you to get your books early because you never know when the price does not go up. Okay, good news. I found somebody selling it on Marketplace for like 20 bucks. So I'm definitely going to message them and see if I can buy it from them because that is such a steal. Let's just message them. Hopefully I can pick the book up because I am not trying to buy one. The next thing that I would do is get my desktop organized for the upcoming semester. I'm going to show you what I do laptop wise to prepare. Obviously these are the classes from last semester. So this one is fine because I have it three of the four semesters. This one I don't have anymore. This one I don't have anymore. This one I have. And then this one I don't have anymore. We can just, let's even see if there's anything in here. So there's just a few things in here. I'm gonna move these into nursing because these are just files that I might need for my future. And then acute care, there's a lot here. So I'm actually gonna move all this stuff also into nursing and foundations. I'm actually just gonna keep this because it's just foundational stuff. I don't know, not super crazy about moving that into the nursing folder. And then I'm just gonna rename it and I'm gonna call it Bulation Based Care. And then this next one I'm gonna call Mental and Behavioral Health. And these cute little icons I got from Julia Christ her website so if you want these same ones that's where i got it i made the desktop cover 
and then also the ones to the right i got these from julia's website as well the only thing that i have left to do is get that textbook so i was working on getting that textbook and i ended up so on amazon it was like i think 82 dollars to buy it and then they didn't even have like i was confused because usually there's a really distinct and clear rent button and it didn't show one i figured that i would just have to buy it but I went on a Facebook marketplace and I searched for maybe if somebody in the area had the same book that I could just pick up. I would love to have done that instead. So I messaged two people. One of them said that it was not available anymore. And then the other one said that I could pick it up. So I literally just picked up the book. Sorry, I'm, on, I'm filming on my phone so it looks backwards, but I picked up the book that I needed and it was only 20 bucks, such a steal. And so my tip and advice from this experience is to before you go and buy like a super expensive textbook go on to well first try to rent it and then also try to go on to facebook marketplace because i feel like most often than not i try to do that and like i know tanner tries to do that and we end up finding a lot of our textbooks through there for really good deals so that is my little piece of advice and as this is my prep for spring semester, I felt like I needed to throw this in and give advice to any of you that are currently like shopping for your textbooks because I know it can be a struggle and super expensive. That was my little tip and my little hack. And I'm very excited because like I said, this was the one textbook I needed and I got a really good deal for it. Now we're gonna go watch the Rose Bowl. And then I'll probably prep for more school related stuff later in the week. I will do more vlogging then. Hello vlog, it is a few days later since I've last talked to you and I've since done a little bit more prepping for the new semester so I just wanted to talk about different things that I've been doing and so I wanted to incorporate that into this video because that's what this video is all about. I'm just sharing some more tips and things that I do to prepare for another semester. The one thing that I did that I actually find super helpful is I create a little and if you've seen my how I take notes in nursing school video, you already know this tip, but I have essentially put together a digital to-do list that looks like this. Let me show you a little better. It has all of the classes, again, color coordinated with what the class color is in Canvas. And then at the beginning of every week, I will go through and I will add in things I want to get done that week. And then throughout the week, I'll complete those things. And then on the weekend, I actually go through it again and I do a weekend to do so that I am constantly changing what's on it and I'm constantly getting things done because I feel like it can be overwhelming to have a lot of things written on here. So I try to do a week glance and then I'll do a weekend glance just because a lot of things happen throughout the week so it's just a good time for me at the beginning of the week to prioritize and think about what things I need to get done. So that is something that I love to do in preparation for another semester because I do have different classes. I wanted to update that obviously from last semester. The other thing that I've been working on since this morning is getting ahead. Now I know that this probably isn't like something new but I feel like ever since I have implemented getting things done early and really trying to be motivated even though I know it's really hard because currently I'm still on my break but I feel like in the long run having coursework done this early in advance has been like so helpful. I tried to be ahead last semester and it really helped the semester go smoothly. I've been working on completing a full asynchronous class today and I actually hope to have it done by the time that school starts so that I only have to focus on the four remaining classes. I think when I started this video I thought I was in four classes but I'm in five classes. So actually, if I finish this one class that's asynchronous, I will have four classes. Another of those four is also asynchronous. My goal is actually to complete as much as I can of the asynchronous classes before school even starts. Trying to get it done as soon as possible because I want the least amount of stress that I can control going into a new semester because I really don't know what to expect. Like at the end of the day, I've never been in third semester. That's my plan. Probably by the time you see this video, school's already started or there's like a few days before school starts but seriously like getting ahead in any way is super beneficial that would be like a really big tip that i would want to share with you and then the last thing that i want to do to prepare for a new semester is i'm going to write down important deadlines and things in my calendar 
So this is my little calendar. I'm definitely like a paper calendar type of person. I love colors and writing and all of those things. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do to prepare is to add important dates into my calendar for big exams as well as when I need to go in person for certain classes. I have classes that are every week, but I also have classes that are not meeting every week and I wanna make sure I know those dates separate from the others. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just gonna go through my canvas syllabi and just write down important dates in my calendar. So I'm going to do that now. I have now added in all of the hybrid in-person class meeting dates and then I've also added in exams and final exams into the calendar. We are prepared, we are ready for third semester. With that being said, I think that that wraps up today's video. I'm going to continue to get ahead in one of my classes, so that's just going to be me sitting here and studying, doing homework, super fun, just not really good content for a video, so I will end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully some of the things that I've talked about are tips that you can implement in your preparation for a new semester And I wish you good luck. We got this and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys